a lot of the stigmas are false and that, and that's really something that it took me a while to come around to is that everybody has in their mind what they perceive to be a homeless individual and they have certain characteristics that they associate with these people that they uh, can't carry a job, that they're addicted to drugs, that they're addicted to alcohol, that they can't care for themselves. There are situations that people can come across that they aren't in control of. Within Worcester, with being such a tight-knit community and such a close group, everybody says of Worcester, it's the biggest small city there is. So you see a lot of the same people every day as you, as you travel throughout the city. And so it really has a possibility of hitting home well, it was really personal for me because I, I had I was directly affected by homelessness about uh, seven years ago when my father perished in the Worcester fire, and it was a fire started by two homeless individuals. It was easy at times to blame the homeless individuals and to say, well, they shouldn't have been in that building and they shouldn't have started that fire. And and while and while that may be true, there are root causes behind why they were in the building and why they needed to take shelter in an abandoned warehouse. That really kind of got me thinking, and it really opened up my mind to. Wow, there's big. There's a bigger picture here. There's a big. There's bigger issues than just you know having to squat in, a, in an abandoned warehouse because you're cold. And there are root causes to that. And there has to be solutions. Only a home ends homelessness. And um, if you take a second and, and just stop and think about it, it's true. Only a home ends homelessness.